What starts as a routine call for a small trash fire suddenly takes a disturbing turn. Firefighters show up to put out the fire and wind up calling the police after making a grim discovery at a Cary home, a Cary neighborhood rather. CBS 17's Dana Harley talks with police as they work to get some answers. An early Sunday morning call about a small trash fire in a backyard on Dorset Drive in Cary, quickly turning into a crime scene as the fire department responded. Dispatch calls paint a picture of what first responders found. We came out here for an outside fire. There's a burn pile, tons of cardboard. It looks like there's a body in the pile. When they extinguished the fire, uh, they did find human remains in a makeshift fire pit. That's when Cary police got involved. They immediately started an investigation to try to find out who that victim was. Because of the condition, uh, yeah. we were unable to uh, identify uh, age, sex, race. Uh, all of that is going to be a part of the investigative process going forward to uh, hopefully identify those remains. Police say the discovery of the body led to a search of the property. They found some mobile homes that they believe the homeowner was living in while doing renovations on the main home. One of those RVs is where the investigation took yet another Another turn. And the homeowner's just gone back inside the camper. I've lost track, but I don't know where he's at. First responders can be heard on dispatch calls saying the homeowner seemed to be rummaging around for something inside of the camper. And then they did find a one adult male who we think is the homeowner uh, inside one of those trailers. He had suffered a single. Uh, gunshot wound, self-inflicted. That man was taken to a nearby hospital in critical condition. We're told an adult female was in the home at the time. She was uninjured and is now cooperating with police. CBS 17 talked with neighbors off camera who say it's a quiet neighborhood and they were shocked to wake up to a handful of police cars outside of their windows. They say they want answers just as much as police do. We want to make sure that we can gather all the evidence available. Uh, we can gather that evidence uh, properly and safely so that it can help us uh, identify what what happened at any location. In Cary, Dina Harley, CBS 17 News.